Hi everyone, welcome to Local Leads. My name is Rich and I'm going to be the host for today's webinar. Today we're going to cover a really short training and this is going to go out to anybody that is setting appointments for us currently. Um, really what we're going to go over is how to schedule an appointment and then how to fill out the form. So really just the two last steps that you need to do once you've been you know, on the phone with them. So the first thing is just go over to our website localleads.us click on uh, or hover over the contact us and drop down to where it says calendar. The calendar is going to be uh, really for the whole sales department. So we have a couple of us here that do the appointments, actually do the presentations with the clients or the prospective clients. So um, this is kind of a shared calendar between a, a number of us. So what the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select the time and region that your pr prospect or the appointment is set in. So making sure that you select the appropriate time um, is very crucial because it will set it in the correct time for our time zone here uh, and the correct time for the time zone that the client is in. So when they send reminders and we send reminders, hey, go ahead and jump in on your webinar in one hour, it's in the correct time zone. Um, we've had a lot of people um, not pay attention while they're doing this. So one thing to make sure is make sure you pick the correct time zone. If you don't know what time zone they're in, go to Google and type in a time zone map and take a look at it. Okay. So we'll go ahead and just pick, uh, for example, sake Pacific time zone. That's the Pacific or that's the time zone that we're in. Always pick a 30 minute appointment or longer. I know there's no other options here. We used to have, and sometimes it pops up with 15 minute options depending on the day always make sure that these appointments are set for 30 minutes and make sure you set the expectation with the the prospect that it's going to be 30 minutes you know a lot of times these can go over by you know five ten minutes depending on the client there are some of them that are done in 15 20 minutes and then other ones that take a little bit more time so always make sure that you set the correct expectation of 30 minutes the next thing you're going to do is you can go ahead and pick on the day that you want that is available for the uh, appointment and then the times that uh, we could uh, uh, do them. So like today, can't do anything um, except for we only got a 5 and a 5.30 left. So um, the next part we're going to do after you go ahead and click next, so let's say we click next, you're going to go ahead and fill out the information. Now you're going to need the company's email address in order to set the appointment. So one of the things that you're going to do is always make sure that you have this screen open just to go ahead and grab the prospect's name because you can easily, um, be right below the calendar, there is an appointment form and what that's going to do is that's where you fill out their information. It's, this is going to send it to us so we have an idea of who this person is or who this business is that we're about to talk to. And a lot of times what we'll do beforehand is do just a little bit of research on our own. So the more information you can can give us about that uh, prospect or the prospects business the better equipped that we are going to be entering into the webinar to make the sale okay um, if you only have you know Joe Smith and you don't really have their address and you didn't get their company name and you don't have their website and you don't have their email it's going to be really hard to present to them without having to go through and have a 15 minute warm up period where we get to know them okay uh, and find out this information so always making sure that you put your affiliate name at the very top so we know who these sales are attributed to and we can pay them correctly uh, the prospects first and last name the company name the address city state and zip the area code and the phone number that we need to call to get a hold of the person a lot of times what's best to put here is the person's cell phone number and it's best to really ask for that because a lot of times with business owners if you put down the business phone number that you might have called in the first place the issue is a lot of times we have to go through gatekeepers or that person's not exactly available at that point if we get a cell phone number a lot of times they'll go ahead and put off what they're doing answer the phone because they have an appointment set with us okay the email is going to be super crucial as well because this is going to go ahead and send them reminders we have text reminders as well that go out uh, based on these phone numbers um, uh, that you fill out and you're going to fill them out um, up here and down here so the phone number company and the email address and the name are going to 
going to go in both sections, in the calendar and in the appointment form, because they go to two different locations uh, when you set the appointment uh, to make sure that all of our bases are covered for follow-up and reminders, things like that. So make sure you pick your time. Make sure you pick the correct time zone that it's in. Make sure you fill out all of the information uh, on both forms, so on the calendar when you set the appointment and on the appointment form uh, before you uh, complete and go on to the next phone call. Okay, so it's real simple. Just make sure you fill everything out. If you have any questions, like always, shoot us an email at a Affiliates at localleads.us. And other than that, we will see you in the next webinar. Talk to you guys soon.